90% of engine mods out there are garbage. Seriously, people spend hundreds, sometimes thousands on stuff that barely moves the needle, or worse, ruins their engines. But today, we're doing it differently. I've handpicked 13 engine mods that are actually worth your time, your money, and your sanity. These aren't just internet rumors, they've been dyno-tested, track-proven, and brutal daily-driven. One mod even gave a Civic 11 extra MPG. Another made a V6 Spank, a Mustang GT. And stick around, because I'm going to reveal the most dangerous mod I've ever seen. One that melted a turbo and cost a guy $6,300 to fix. If you care about real performance without destroying your wallet or your engine, grab a notepad. Let's get into it. Mod number 13, High Flow Air Filter. Let's start small, but surprisingly effective. High Flow Air Filters. I'll be honest, the first time I saw someone swap a stock air filter for a high flow one, I laughed. I thought it was just marketing fluff. But then, I drove the car. Throttle felt snappier, idle was smoother, and MPG ticked up just a bit. That's when I shut my mouth. Here's the deal. A high flow air filter lets your engine breathe the way it wants. Stock filters are fine if you're just running to the grocery store. But if you care about performance or long-term reliability, you upgrade. Some key tips. Stick with proven brands like K&N or AEM. Cheap knockoffs fall apart fast. Don't confuse it with a full cold air intake. It's not. And don't soak it in oil like a turkey. Too much oil will foul your MF sensor. Simple, cheap, and foundational. Better air in, better performance out. Mod number 12, ECU Remap. This is where the magic starts. Your engine is capable of a lot more than the factory tune allows. The stock ECU is designed for safety, fuel economy, emissions, smoothness, basically your grandma's comfort. When you tune it properly, the engine wakes up like it had a double espresso, sharper throttle, more torque, optimized fuel curves. But be careful, don't use cheap tunes from forums or random USB dongles. One guy bricked his ECU trying that, burnt valves, knocked engine, almost torched the whole thing. Use platforms like HP tuners, great for GM, Ford, Dodge Cobb access port, perfect for Subarus, Mazdas, Ford, Honda, for Hondas, Acuras, and always get a professional dyno tune. Remember, you're rewriting the brain of your car. Treat it with respect. Mod number 11, Performance Exhaust System. Think of your stock exhaust like a clogged straw. Restricted flow, heat buildup, wasted power. Performance exhaust lets your engine breathe out efficiently. Tips for a clean install. Stick to mandrel bent stainless steel pipes. Don't go too big. You'll kill low end torque. Keep resonators intact unless you love highway drone. Pair it with a tune and suddenly your torque curve smooths out. Throttle response sharpens and the car sounds deep and controlled, not like a fart cannon. Mod number 10, cold air intake. Cold air intakes get hyped to hell. Most cheap ones just suck in hot engine bay air. But a properly designed cold air intake, placed outside heat zones and sealed correctly, is one of the most effective bolt-ons you can do. I installed one on a 6th generation Camaro with a heat shield and fender well scoop. Paired with a tune, it picked up 10 to 15 horsepower at the wheels. Tips. Cooler air equals denser air equals better combustion. Relocate MAF sensor correctly. Stick with tested brands like AEM, 
I N E N. Number 9. Lightweight Pulley Kit. Every belt your engine spins. Alternator, power steering, water pump, adds drag. Swap stock pulleys for lightweight ones, and your engine revs faster, throttle feels snappier. But be careful, too light a crank pulley can mess with harmonic balance. For daily drivers, avoid underdriving alternator too much. Headlights may dim, feels huge behind the wheel, even if numbers don't show it. Mod number eight, upgraded spark plugs and ignition coils. You can have perfect air and fuel, but weak sparks equals wasted power. Upgrades give cleaner combustion, stronger ignition, better cold starts minor MPG gains. Pro tip, if boosted, go colder on plugs. Don't mix random coils from eBay. Use NGK, Denso, MSD, Performance Camshaft, number seven. NA Engine Owners, this is for you. Cam controls valve timing. Done right, it gives. More top-end power, stronger mid-range, sharper throttle, and wider rev range. Warning, wrong cam, without matching springs, push rods, and a tune equals bent valves, destroyed pistons. Use comp cams, Brian Tooley Racing, Texas Speed. Oil catch can, number six. DI engines are prone to carbon buildup. This little device catches crankcase blow-by before it clogs your intake valves. Simple, cheap, and extremely effective. Stick with JLT, Mishimoto, Radium, and empty regularly. Number five, aluminum radiator. Heat kills engines faster than anything. Upgrading your radiator improves flow and heat dissipation, protects head gaskets, and prevents heat soak. Bonus, replace old hoses and check fans. Mod number four, turbo timer slash boost controller. Boost is beautiful, but dangerous if ignored. Turbo timer lets oil circulate after shutdown, longer turbo life. Boost controller, Safely adjust PSI. Never spike. Boost without proper engine support. Mod number three. Upgraded fuel injectors and pump. Number three. Fuel system upgrades. Lean equals catastrophic failure. Bigger injectors, high flow pump, match to your build and tune. Mod number two. Performance intercooler. Intercoolers keep intake air cool. Lower temps equals denser air equals more power and less knock. Upgrade stock intercoolers with Mishimoto, Wagner, ETS units. Finally, number one, forced induction. Turbo or supercharger transforms a car completely. Gains of 40 to 100% horsepower are normal but don't bolt on a cheap kit without supporting fuel system ECU tune, stronger internals, if overstock. This is the ultimate mod, but also the riskiest. Quick bonus, mods I never recommend, cheap turbo kits, electric superchargers, octane booster snake oils, noisy blow-off valves, fake turbo whistles, mismatched parts without a tune, save yourself headaches, and money. All right, there you have it. 13 mods that actually work, from simple air filters to full forced induction. Follow these rules, do it properly, and your car will reward you. Smash that like button if you learned something. Subscribe for more No BS Car Mod advice and check the video link above for the mods that walk the line between performance and legality. Stay safe, tune smart, and I'll see you in the next one.